Memories the ability to remember information, experiences, and people. It plays a major role in our everyday life to recall details of our past, but also to make decisions for our future. That is why neurodegenerative diseases, such as Alzheimer's, are so difficult to live with. But how is formed this memory? First, the memory can be seen as a network of neurons. Neurons are nerve cells that carry information. Indeed, when a stimulus is felt, the neuron will convert the stimulation into an electric pulse and transmit it along its axon, its long thread-like part, until the central nervous system, where it will be analyzed. To ensure the quickness and the accuracy of the transmitted message, the network has to choose the more suitable path. The quality of the response can depend on multiple factors, internal reasons, like the architecture of the network, and external reasons, such as delay time or distractors. To improve the architecture of the network, nerve cells use the strategy of inhibitory and excitatory neurons. Indeed, one can see the network as an assemble of neurons linked with each other, where each junction has a given conductance. When the system is trained, the paths that are too long or not accurate see their conductance decrease such that the path disappears and is not followed anymore. On the contrary, an efficient path will see its conductance improve and will be followed more often. But even a trained path with a strong architecture can be unsettled by external factors such as distractors or a too long delay time of response. Finally, even if the shaping of those paths seems to be irreversible, one can reinforce or even resuscitate some path with the aid of autobiographical training, a method to boost voluntary recall with the help of familiar stimulus to train one's memory.